This video is going to show you how to set up your titles and descriptions for your restream videos before you go live. This is a must do before you hit live because if you just hit live, it's just going to say multi stream by restream, not going to give your audience any sense of what the video that you're broadcasting is about. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. Now, where we are right now, you can see on the screen is we are in the dashboard. When you first get into restream, this is where you show up. Uh, obviously, you've got your destinations listed here. You can add channels. Um, I'm not going to add any more at this point. Do another video about that. But you'll see right next to add channel, there is a note for update titles. And it's got a pencil icon there, which means you can edit them. So we're going to click on that. This is one way to get it done first and foremost. So right here, we can say, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say test uh, broadcast by restream. Uh, and maybe it's like um, about adding titles to videos before they post, before they post. Please forgive my typing as I do this. And of course, then I can add a description and say, this video is going to show you how to add titles before you go live. So if you think about how these broadcast out, uh, I'm going to use YouTube and LinkedIn as, uh, as examples. So if this is going to go out on YouTube, the title that I put in there in the field is going to be the title of the video on YouTube. The description is going to be just that. In the description field, that is what's going to go in there. You can be as verbose as you want, right? Um, let's think about LinkedIn, though. On LinkedIn, it's a little different. The title of the video in the field here is going to be what appears along the bottom of the video in your post. And then the description is what is going to appear in the post text above the video on your post. So got to think about that. Now, this brings me to the next part. So you can just say, yes, I want the title to be this across all of them. And I want the description to be this across all of my channels I'm going to. But we just brought up how sometimes things can be a little different across channels. That's where you have the option to update separately. So I'm going to click on that too. So when we get to update separately, now it's going to open a window where it's going to let you say, okay, well, uh, based on where you're going, what do you want the titles to be? So I'm going to say uh, for, I'm going to edit Periscope. Again, Periscope Periscope's getting uh, sunsetted, but uh, Periscope, for instance, will not let you do a description. It only lets you do a title. So you could put in here, uh, I'm say testing um, a broadcast by restream, updating titles. Okay, so maybe that's my title for Periscope. I'm going to hop on down to YouTube. And again, I've got a title and description option. So I'm going to go ahead and enter those. Now, maybe in the description, you want to say, um, please uh, visit my helpful link at really.social, which is my website. Um, that's great because you can include and should include links whenever possible in your descriptions of your YouTube channel, give people someplace else to go. But then it's even again different on LinkedIn. Remember, we have a title that's going to be again what appears below the video. And then you can add the description here. And you know, and maybe you're like, um, helpful video for business users um, to uh, update titles of your live streams. So based on your audience, you can update everything um, differently uh, based on what the platform is. Now notice too, it gives you really helpful little indicator here. You have 831 characters left versus YouTube. You have, you have almost 5,000 characters you can use up. That's why it's different and it is helpful to update these separately if you need to. So you can hit update onto there. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard and to, to update those, all you have to do is click update and it updated on it and be ready to go for when you go live next time. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. So let's say that you don't do this before you get into the live studio. You're not done yet. You have an option because fortunately Restream has said, hey, maybe you're about to go live and you just are like, oh, I forgot. So I'm going to click in my live studio and you'll see me again on the screen because we're here in the live studio. All right. So there's my live studio. It's accessing my camera, but as it's loading this, and of course I'm going to hit allow. You always want to make sure you hit allow. Um, I'm on a new browser with this particular laptop. Okay. So notice where you can update your titles before you go live. Uh, and the only reason it's, I'm going to open my little, camera cover here so you guys can see that I'm actually here. Hi. Um, before you go live, any anytime you do go live, you should be going and checking your captions and your graphics. But we're going to click over on the setup tab. 
Now again, this is where you can say, I want my title and description for my video. And notice it can let you again, just like we talked about, edit them separately. So that is your plan B in case you forget before you go live. Now, if you go live, obviously, um, if you haven't updated your titles, it might keep whatever you had for your last titles. Uh, or if you've never updated your titles, it'll say a multi-stream by restream. Um, obviously on some platforms, you can go back later and edit the copy and edit the title sometimes, but that varies. If you're on Twitter, no, you can't. You know, you wanna get that title right the first time. And that might be an opportunity again in your title to include uh, some app mentions for people who might appear in your video, just anything that gets it a more broadcast spread and reach. So that is how to update your titles in Restream. If you have any questions, let me know, but don't forget to do this before you go live on Restream. Uh, and thanks for watching and good luck on your next broadcast. I hope this was helpful. Click there to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget the bell. Also, click over there in case there's any other videos on this topic you'd like to watch. Lastly, if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future how-to social video, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to create something that will save you time, make you more efficient, and be really social.